Thank you for joining us on Business Incorporated, coming to you live from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago. On the program today, Standard Bank Group Limited, Africa's largest lender, gets the first sole black CEO. Zimbabwe's stock index touches 301.03 points, the highest since it was rebased in 2009. Plus, Kenya's Mombasa port traffic up 12% in first half. Let's get started with the markets in Africa. On the Nigerian stock market and the Egypt stock exchange, wet trading waters at intraday down 0.81% and 0.49% each. Egypt's new stock exchange chief wants to launch a raft of reforms aimed at increasing trading volumes over the next six months, with a listing of big companies high up on the list. Egypt's financial regulator approved the measure on Monday, and that has come into effect today. Now, around 270 companies are listed on Egypt's stock market. And looking at those numbers there in South Africa, the JSC index was um, looking up 0.55%, while the market in Kenya closed up 0.40% on Monday. In the meantime, in Zimbabwe, the stock market hit a record high on Monday, propelled by local investors seeking a safe haven in an economy suffering acute shortages of foreign exchange. The Zimbabwe Stock Exchange's main industrial index touched 301.03 points. That's the highest since it was rebased in 2009 when Zimbabwe dumped its hyperinflation hit currency in favor of the U.S. dollar. Market capitalization reached $8.5 billion. It has more than doubled since January and added $1.77 billion in the past week. Now, analysts say businesses and individuals struggling to access cash from banks have found the stock market is safe uh, bet for maintaining the value of their money. The market data showed the industrial index has since January risen 108%, putting it among the world's best performers. In the last week alone, the index is up 26%. And in the Middle East, Qatar stock market continued sliding today as bank shares were sold while Bank Saudi Francie fell in Riyadh after Francis Credit Agricole agreed to sell a 16.2% stake in the bank to local investor Kingdom Holding. Uh, the index was down 0.71% at intraday. Standard & Poor's revised its outlook for a Qatar National Bank and Qatar Islamic Bank late on Monday to negative. This was in line with S&P's revision of Qatar's sovereign outlook to negative in late August. But the news still pressured the banks on Tuesday. Saudi Arabia's index was trading up 0.05%. That's according to those figures there. And that's as uh, Saudi Francie dropped 1.8% uh, to 32.40 reals and Kingdom jumped 7.6%. Dubai's index edged up 0.03% and Abu Dhabi was 0.71% higher as the United Arab Emirates' biggest bank, First Abu Dhabi Bank, rebounded 1.5%. The stock has been in a downtrend since early August. And moving on now to Europe, where markets opened higher today as investors enjoyed a lull in the ongoing dispute with North Korea and the worst effects of Hurricane Ima appeared to subside. The travel and leisure industry remained underwater, however, as it continued to face criticisms over the relief efforts for tourists in the wake of the storm. Let's bring in Orich for details. Hello, Orich. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us again. Now, the travel and leisure industry was down more than 1% in early trade and series of strikes in France over President uh, Macron's labor reforms seemed to be hurting the industry. Uh, 20,000 rail uh, passengers had their flights cancelled as a result. Now, is this a bad time for Europe's travel and leisure industry? Uh, it certainly is. Uh, you know, there, there are problems uh, beyond uh, which uh, those areas you just described, uh, Air Berlin, uh, dozens uh, or lots of pilots calling in uh, sick and uh, dozens of flights canceled, affecting 8,000 passengers. Uh, the tourist industry is certainly also suffering uh, from the storms in the United States, from Harvey and Irma, affecting uh, Texas and uh, Florida and the uh, southeastern seaboard there. 
Um, people looking at uh, traveling to Turkey, is that a good question? Uh, lots of uh, people affected in the travel industry there. A whole slew of problems. Uh, Lufthansa and Air France KLM today going up despite all these uh, worries. But um, there's an indication that there is worry for the industry. There's a so-called FTSE 350 index for travel and leisure. And a lot of big names in there like TUI, for example, or Thomas Cook or Ryanair. And that index, uh, while generally markets are in a pretty good mood, that index is down uh, so far for the day. Right, Ulrich, let's look at the Frankfurt Auto Show, which begins uh, today. And looking behind you there, seeing the movement of the DAX, just wondering what's driving the DAX. So what car would you like to cruise with around Frankfurt today? And is the market really watching the show today? <laughs> That's right. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind trying out an electrical car just to see what it's like. Uh, but I think one of the dream cars to cruise around uh, with nice weather would be one of these early 60s American cars, convertible, a Chevrolet or a Ford or a Chrysler. I think that would be uh, my favorite if one could put one's hands on, on something like that at a reasonable price. Uh, but at the car show, of course, it's all about new cars and how they sell. And uh, the market mood is quite optimistic. Mm, most car shares in Europe are going up. Fiat Chrysler is unchanged. It's not moving much. But if you look at Peugeot Citroën, if you look at Renault, Volkswagen, Daimler, uh, and BMW, they're all up. And um, I've been watching car shows in, in the car industry for, for many years now. And it's usual at the beginning of the show, and sometimes it continues for a number of days throughout the show, as there are success stories about the visitors' interests, uh, that the good mood at the stock market for car shares continues. We'll see if that's uh, that way uh, this year, because, of course, there are also all sorts of question marks, signs of perhaps a crisis and perhaps of pending uh, or future crises coming, with maybe traditional manufacturers taking a backseat to new pioneers, uh, offering e-mobility uh, and self-driving. This car show is important. Some people are not here, like Peugeot, uh, Citroën, for example, or Fiat Chrysler, which I just mentioned, gaining. They're not at the show, uh, nor is Tesla, by the way. Hmm, electric car. I would like to ride in it one of these days, you know. 